Okay, we're going to tr try a, a brief overview of Excel pivot tables. There'll be a, a few examples at the tail end of this that we can actually play with later. I'll try and post them to Confluence as well. Uh, one of the, f the first things that y you might find useful is to take data that's already in a spreadsheet and then generate a pivot table uh, with it. And it's almost like falling off a log. You just basically insert a pivot table. It, it grabs what data you ever you have on your screen and then basically gives you a chance to to create a pivot table and work with it. Uh, a, a more common way to go about this uh, is to have some data in a database. Uh, you need an ODPC connector, uh, access to MS Query, and then you can drive into a pivot table. And, and this is how SSG Business Tell works in, in some regards. Uh, if you need uh, access to data in the SQL database, and you can get access uh, in a pivot table and, and then use that pivot table for analysis. Uh, in, in general, a pivot table has this, this nature of cross tabs. Uh, the, the more s simplistic way to use it is to basically take uh, two, two dimensions, if you will, of a, a row uh, and, and a column. This, this is the basic nature of, of a pivot table, that, that you end up with uh, a, a, a cross tab as you display. However, if it kind of starts off on the right in some regards, where you have a, a field list that appears with multiple dimensions and, and multiple measures. So the dimensions, uh, I guess, can be you know state or customer name, of uh, the, the region of the country that that the customer is in. Uh, the dimensions can go into the rows and the columns, and can also be a filter. The, the measures goes into that values bucket in the lower right-hand corner. So that, that's kind of the distinction. So that the dimensions can go into the rows and columns, the filters, the measures go into the values. And that, that is generally the, the nature of a pivot table, whether it comes from uh, data in a spreadsheet or whether it comes from uh, data in a database. So uh, if you're ready, we're going to try three examples. Uh, one. Uh, where you have data from a spreadsheet going into a pivot table. Two, d data from a, a database going into a pivot table. And we're going to use some, some time track data. And then the third, there's uh, a financial metrics uh, sp spreadsheet that I've uh, worked on before and published that uh, we're going to try and do an update on the fly. So just some, some arbitrary data, no, nothing special about it. And I was just trying to kind of come up with some sales data uh, that was sort of arbitrary. Uh, insert pivot table. So kind of like falling off a log, it knows what ranges you have on your screen as far as data is concerned. And basically, will give you a, a pivot table in, in a separate sheet. So he here's the, the sales data, which is the raw data, and here's the pivot table. And the, the the only measure, I guess, that there are two measures. One of them is quantity. One of them is the amount. So, for for example, if you just drag uh, the amount into the values, so since amount is a measure, uh, it'll fit into the value screen, uh, value box fairly well. Usually, I change it to a comma format, so that's easiest to display. And then things become kind of easy. So, for example. Uh, if you need to know some things by product line, you, you could drag and drop product line into a row. If you also need to see things by region, you can put things in, into the, the region column, sorry, the, the region into the column bucket, and it would give you a cross tab uh, by, by region and by product line. If for some reason you decided not to do this by product line, but you wanted to do it by customer instead, then it's an exchange of, of, of uh, dimensions in that row column. If you needed both customer and product line, then you can basically do a drag and drop this way so that you have the customer and the product line together. Uh, if you d didn't want the, the amounts, but you wanted the quantity instead, 
you can do an exchange very quickly to get the products and, and the amounts. Uh, also, uh, finally, I guess my last bit of, of demonstration here, uh, if you only need to see the quantities and the amounts by product line, uh, you could do it that way. Uh, so this display is a little bit confusing, but uh, the quantity and the amounts, quantity and the amounts, quantity and the amounts. Uh, to make it a little bit clearer, you could take out the region. Okay. Okay. Uh, well, I guess one, one last bit of something. I guess we could do this with uh, a customer. So if you wanted to see the, the quantity and the amounts for a particular customer, you could put customer in the filter and then pick, pick one of these customers. Uh, and see the breakdown by product line, quantity and amount. Okay, any questions so far? <laughs>